Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. The AeroPress has been around for a long time and has been known to be a great option for making a single serve cup of coffee. So when the company finally decided to put out a new product about a year, a year and a half ago, which is the AeroPress Go, it understandably got a lot of attention. So the question is, is the AeroPress Go worth getting? Stay tuned, we'll check it out. Thanks for watching guys. So let's start by taking a good look at the system. This is the AeroPress Go. This is what you get. The specs, it states you can make an eight ounce cup of coffee. The mug with the lid is 5.3 by 3.9 by 3.9. The mug has a capacity of 15 ounces. It weighs 11.5 ounces. It costs $32, which is more than the original AeroPress. We'll take it apart. It's got this little top right here. Inside you have a little holder for some of the filters, which is kind of nice. You can carry probably, I would say, probably 20 filters in there, which is nice, because of course, this is designed to head out on the go. This is the plunger and the chamber. You know, you pull the plunger out here, compact like this. It's 4.6 by 4.6 by 3.9, so you could theoretically just take this with you and forget about the mug if you wanted to. Inside, you get a few more things. You get a scoop, okay? And you get a little stir, fancy little stir, that you just open up and you can stir your coffee like that inside of the AeroPress. Lastly, you've got this mug. It's a fairly nice feeling mug. It's got nice texture on the side, so it is comfortable to use. Not insulated, which is a bummer, but you don't make enough coffee in this to worry about it. It's not gonna last very long. It does come with a total of 350 filters, so that is good. Let's go ahead and get this rolling, get some water boiling, and brew some coffee.
So let's talk about this product. Now it makes exceptional coffee. There's no doubt about it. But here's the thing. It's tiny. It makes a tiny amount of coffee. My biggest complaint of the original AeroPress is that it just doesn't make enough coffee. So what does AeroPress do? They come out and make a smaller AeroPress. Now I get that the cup or the mug that it comes with is basically the size needed to hold the smaller press, but it is just depressing to see that cup filled like a third of the way full with coffee and that's all you get. It's like the size of the cup is a tease. You think, well, this is the cup, and the mug it comes with, it should make up a, a cup of coffee. But it doesn't. What's different about this product? What's innovative? What makes you want to buy it? I mean nothing. There's nothing different. It's just a small AeroPress. It's, it's nothing but frustration for me. People will say, well, it's espresso type coffee. That's why it's so small. It's, it's not espresso. There's no crema. There's no crema on this. It's just a small cup of coffee. Good coffee, yes, but, but small. So in the end, what do I really think about the AeroPress Go? You know, AeroPress has kind of like a cult following. And I think the company knew that if they put anything out there, people would flock to buy it. They basically made a smaller press and wrapped it inside of a cheap mug, threw in some extra trinkets, and they charge more than they do for the original AeroPress. Yes, it makes good coffee, I get that, but it leaves you wanting more. And if you're going to spend the money on a new product, especially if you already own the AeroPress, you would expect it maybe to have some innovation, something different. And this one doesn't have it. Why not make an AeroPress that makes an actual cup of coffee, a larger press? I think a lot of people would buy that, and I certainly would buy it over this smaller press. Now, I tend to be pretty open-minded in my reviews. I don't bash a lot of things, and I'm not bashing the AeroPress Go. I'm just saying that if you own an AeroPress already, there's really no reason to buy an AeroPress Go. All you're gonna get is a smaller cup of coffee and a mug that really isn't that exciting. Yes, it comes all in a nice little case and it's all compact and that makes you feel nice and happy. It's not worth the money. I mean, you can't even make an eight ounce cup of coffee. So, if you want an AeroPress, get the original. If you already own the original AeroPress, just pass on the AeroPress Go and get yourself a mug that you like. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on coffee. I tend to enjoy my coffee, like I said, and have lots of videos about making coffee on the trail or on the go. Lots of great innovative products. Some I like, some I don't like. Do me a big favor, guys. If you do like this video and if you found us because you were checking out the AeroPress Go, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube and helps my YouTube channel. If you want to make sure you don't miss any other videos, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be absolutely sure you're notified, hit that notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. For the time being, this is my studio. This is my house. I'm filming mainly inside, probably for the next three or four months, I would imagine, as things start to settle. The water is just almost out of my shop. I don't know exactly when this video will be published. It'll probably be down the road a little bit. But at the time I'm filming it, there's water just below the level of the door of my shop. I have not gone in there. It's a Tuesday. I'm not going until Saturday when I'm going to start cleaning up and getting stuff out of there. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the growth of the channel. And as always, guys, stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD. Yeah.